I took nature and science and I synthesized. Welcome to Kermode Uncut. It's that time of year again when the Cannes Film Festival rolls around. If you're a regular here, you'll know that my rule is can don't. I don't do the Cannes Film Festival. However, I am always interested in the controversies that dog the festival. And this year, it's the debate between theatrical and streaming releases. So, in competition for the Palme d'Or are a couple of movies, which are Bong Joon-ho's Okja, which I'm really, really looking forward to, and Noah Baumbach's The Meyerowitz Stories, both of which are in competition but are Netflix movies. Now this has caused a bit of a ruckus in France where French exhibitors have said, hold on a minute, the Cannes Film Festival, you know, prestigious film festival, and you've got Netflix movies in competition. We can't be doing with this because this is anti-cinema, you know, this is all about cinema, it's all about theatres, all about theatrical presentation, what's going on? And the Cannes Film Festival has reacted to these complaints. They've said that what they're going to do is that those movies are fine for this year, but as of next year, they're going to introduce a rule, which is that if your film is going to be in competition, it has to have a French theatrical release. Now, exactly what constitutes a theatrical release is a matter of debate. You may or may not know that in France there's a rule, which is that if your film is in cinemas, it has to wait three years before it can go on a streaming service. And obviously, as far as Netflix and Amazon, who are also making movies, are concerned, this is a real problem. So maybe there's a way of arranging a limited screening, something that isn't a conventional screening release, but will at least qualify your film as having been theatrically released. Now, this debate isn't going away any time in the near future. You remember the fuss that was caused about Beasts of No Nation, whether or not that was a proper movie or whether it was a TV movie, because it was made by and for streaming services. And if you are a streaming service whose revenue depends on people signing up for your service, then obviously you don't really want people to be able to see your movies in cinemas. We talked recently about Ava DuVernay's wonderful film, 13th, and there was a big complaint about that, which was that cinemas here that wanted to play it weren't able to because Netflix basically didn't want it playing in cinemas. They wanted people who wanted to see that movie to sign up to their service. Well, the fact that this has become an issue at Cannes means it's something about which film critics and film distributors and film exhibitors are talking, although we have been talking about it here at Kermit Uncut for quite a long time. And I'll ask you once again, what do you think the solution to this is? Because as far as I'm concerned, it's absolutely a future coming in which we have simultaneous distribution, in which films are released simultaneously online in cinemas, and that is the way the future is going. And there's really no point in complaining about it. You have to get on board because that's what it's going to look like. But what do you think? What do you think? Are you with the French exhibitors holding out for that three-year period when it's in cinemas and there's three years for it on streaming services? Do you think that the Cannes Film Festival should worry whether something is a Netflix movie or an Amazon movie? Are they all just movies in the end no matter how you watch them? I'm genuinely interested to know what you think because this is really getting to be a very, very hot topic. And... When things start worrying the French, you know they're important. Ah!